Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. It has been two years now since I started this YouTube channel and this third year has been a true milestone year. So that's what this video is all about. We we'll see the highlights and we'll also revisit the diet. The reason is that uh, during this year, even if I didn't tell you, I've given priority to the treatment of my osteopenia. It happens that the recent bone and cytometry has given very good results and that I can only attribute to my vegan diet, the only one to contain a powerful bone builder. So I start by saying how I learned that nettle can cure, uh, that nettle and more generally the vegan diet can cure osteoporosis. Next we'll see the results of the densitometry and as the diet has been decisive I'd like to introduce Colin Campbell. <clears throat> He's somewhat the modern knife. He's the author of a huge work, the China study, which is about nutrition and its consequences on health. At the end of the video I'll give the new top 5 tips for the treatment of osteoarthritis then an update of what I said in the video 6. Here we go. <clears throat> it's on the web page of the herbalist Susan Wheat that I read that osteoporosis can be cured by nettle. The link to the page is in the comment box. She reports a testimonial of one of her students. So she writes, so a student, my doctor is astonished. He insisted that I had to take drugs to deal with my severe osteoporosis. Instead, I drank two quarts of nettle infusion a week for several years. According to my latest bone scan, I know at the age of 67, have the bone mass of a woman half my age. Ha ha ha, with nettle I get the last laugh on modern medicine. <clears throat> and Susan Reed also specifies why nettle can cure osteoporosis. Nettle is amazingly rich in protein, vitamins and minerals, especially the critical trace minerals, anti-cancer selenium, immune-enhancing sulfur, memory-enhancing zinc, diabetes-chasing chromium and bone-building boron. A quart of nettle infusion contains more than 1,000 milligrams of calcium, 15,000 international units of vitamin A, 760 milligrams of vitamin K, 10% protein and lavish amounts of most B vitamins. So nettle cures osteoporosis because it contains the bone building boron. One must drink a lot of nettle to get all of his wonderful powers, says Susan Reed. She drinks twice a week, a quart, so one liter, prepared with one ounce of dried nettle. I like to drink every day a good glass of nettle infusion or smoothie. Uh, I mix it with some fruit juice. And I did so during one and a half year, together with my vegan diet, which I started at the same time, you know, uh, beginning 2017. And let's take a look at the results. They are clearly visible in the densitometry. As you can see, I have osteopenia only uh, on the level, on the lumbar level and on the left hip. Uh, on the lumbar level, this scan dates from um, June 2016 and this one from April 2018. Uh, 
on the lumbar level I had 79 and this year 83 so this is an improvement uh, with 4% the t-score had minus 1.9 and now uh, 1.6 uh, the normal range for the T-score is minus 1 to plus 1. So I think knowing that 90% is the normal range of minus 1, I think I can reach uh, that result in a couple of years, one or two years. And on the hip I had 75% and now 75% a t-score of minus 2 and now minus 1.9 so this goes in the good direction too but you understand I had to give priority to the treatment of my osteopenia of course I did some research to find out which other foods contain the bone building boron and it is found solely in plant-based foods, in legumes, leaf vegetables, nuts and some fruits like grapes. Animal foods do not contain boron. So one can draw some conclusions here. A vegan diet seems to be the only one that can cope with osteoporosis. And this makes me think Colin Campbell is right. And he says plant-based diets can cure affluence diseases. Time for me to revisit diet with Colin Campbell. I tend to see Campbell as a modern knight because for him curing diseases amounts to cleaning the body. This is somewhat the same idea as Nipe, but unlike Nipe who uses plant teas inside and water applications outside, Campbell sees a cleaning mechanism in a vegan diet. He wrote a book, The China Study, which is a huge study on nutrition and its consequences on health. The study has been conducted in several countries and lasted for more than 40 years. His basic idea, as I said, is similar to knives. It's about cleaning the body, but for Campbell, the diet will play an absolutely decisive role in the sense that the vegan diet, without dairy products, without meat, without animal protein, can not only control the disease, but also stop the disease and even cure the disease. The vegan diet triggers a self-cleaning mechanism in the body. In other words, a self-healing mechanism. He found that when casein intake, which is the milk protein, exceeds 5 to 10% of total calorie intake, it triggers the so-called effluence diseases, including cancers, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, diabetes, etc. And you know, uh, we consume much more than 5 to 10 percent protein. We usually consume 20 percent protein and even more. Campbell also found that once the protein intake is decreased again till 5 to 10 percent of the total calorie intake, the tumors regress. The mechanism of self healing is triggered and health returns. Whenever protein intake is again increased, tumors grow again. And each time protein intake is again reduced, the tumors regress. So it grows and regress. He also did a test of giving 20% of soy and wheat protein, and this did not have this bad effect. So to summarize, the differences between Kneipp and Campbell. Kneipp holds who he warned against animal protein. He did not see the harmful role of milk, but he did not have the insight we have. As for Campbell, I wonder whether he is aware of the fact that sometimes blockages can be so stubborn that it may be necessary to go beyond dietary change and move to radical methods of dissolving the morbid substances. 
So for me, their views are complementary. I suggest you to watch one of Campbell's videos where I explain his work, his, the tests he did and the results. I put the link in the comment box. In that video, at about 56 minutes, you will see Clinton and he explains how he came to the Campbell diet. It was not to lose weight, but to trigger that self-healing mechanism. Because he didn't want his health problems to come back. And listening to him, one realized how difficult it is finally to clean the blood. 5 to 10% protein of a total calorie intake of 2000 kcal is about 25 to 50 gram protein. According to Campbell, this is the maximum allowed to stay healthy. Exceeding this maximum and health will be more a matter of eliminating than of eating. And I think we are lucky to have only finger osteoarthritis. So based on these new views, I give now my new top five tips for osteoarthritis. See an update of uh, the list given in video 6. 1. Become as vegan as possible. Legumes and vegetables and fruits contain substances meat and dairy do not contain, like the bone building boron. While vitamin B12, which is the reason for many people to go on to eat meat, this vitamin can easily be found in yeast flakes. In video 6 I said to stop cholesterol and now I say stop all dairy and as much as possible animal protein too. 2. Drink lots of linden tea and, and this is new, without sugar. I think this may make a difference, but I didn't focus on this in video 6. I drank uh, linden always without sugar because it is already sweet. And at least one cup hot. There are many reasons why I stick to linden. For Nipe it is a powerful sudorific, we have seen this. For Susan Wheat, it is the anti-inflammatory par excellence. So we badly need anti-inflammatories. Anti In France, it is praised for its powerful draining and detoxifying action, and also for uh, being able to remove the cholesterol. And when they speak of rheumatism, and natural remedies, linden is always mentioned first. So enough reason to use and abuse when you have osteoarthritis. One simple tea bag is enough for a teapot of uh, half a liter. I drank a cup of two in the morning, a cup or two in the morning, and the remaining fresh and lengthened with water during the day. In total, one and a, half, and a half liter a day. Three oat straw poultices, of course. These three first are all numbers one, of course. So the oat straw poultices from 38 to 40 degrees Celsius, four to eight hours, an uninterrupted way uh, daily. Once the poultices treatment started, take the good habit of avoiding the hands to be cold and even more to wash your hands with cold water. Cold is the enemy number one of osteoarthritis. Use a splint whenever you don't work with a poultice and also for better access to the small bumps. As for the decoction, the stronger it is, the better it is. Nipe advises to let it boil for 15 minutes to 30 minutes and use it for 24 hours or even 36 hours. He used it even uh, for 72 hours. Four, make pictures every day and keep a diary. 
It is only by comparing the pics that you will see how the finger behaves after this or that poultice and whether there is progress. And write down whenever you feel activity in the finger. This is the only way to learn. Five exercises of the fingers and singing. This is new uh, compared to video six. I think I may have underestimated the singing because singing improves breathing, it improves the blood circulation and elimination of toxins. As you easily understand, I continue my osteopenia treatment, so that is drinking nettle rather than linden. But I also do still exercises uh, and these exercises are in um, linden buds. But that's for the next video. Well, and that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and till the next video. Bye-bye.